I want to show you how to create really high-end logos using completely free AI tools in this video. The first free AI tool we're going to use is called Copilot. This is from Microsoft, so you just have to go to copilot.microsoft.com. I'll put a link to all the things I'm going to mention in this video to make it a little bit easier too. And here where it says choose a conversation style, you just want to choose more creative over here. And then you want to copy and paste a prompt like this. So the prompt is going to say craft five prompts. So I'm going to actually ask it to come up with the prompts for me so it could come up with some unique ideas that I could use to create a logo for my, and then right here, this is the part where yours would change. So describe your business here in this part. If you have some ideas for your logos, you could again, incorporate that into this prompt, but I'm gonna show you the different kind of ideas that it comes up with. And while it's creating that, I also went into ChatGPT. Technically, Copilot is using ChatGPT, but if I go to chat.openai.com, I'm using ChatGPT 3.5 and I give it the exact same prompt, and this sometimes gives me some better ideas, even though it's technically the same software in the background. Copilot gives me more direct visuals, so a stylized camera lens with the name of the business inside, or a film reel with the name of the business and the tagline around it. So as you could see, this is more descriptive. This ChatGPT is giving me something that's a little bit more vague, but I found it to be a little bit more interesting. So I'm gonna go ahead and copy this second one here. And I'm just going to go ahead and paste it here. Okay, as you can see, I got four different options. Some of these look really incredible. Maybe a little bit too much, so you can not simplify it. So if you follow up with a text, say I like number two, but make it more simple, you can do that. That's what, one of the benefits of using these chat-based AIs to create logos. You could actually just have a ch chat back and forth to revise it. It will open up, if you click on one of them, it will open up this window here where you could go ahead and customize it. So instead of downloading it here, I'm gonna press customize and it's gonna open another free app from Microsoft for us. And this one is called Microsoft Designer. This lets us do a lot of editing to our image. And if you've ever used Canva, this is gonna look pretty familiar to you, but they have things like filters, so you may, want to change some of the way that it looks this punchy one is really cool you could change kind of the intensity but let's say that's what i want they have this remove background option too so if you click that it's going to remove the background so now here's the logo part so i'm going to go ahead and shrink this down because i do want to add some text so i'll move this kind of up here and let's say on the bottom i want to add some text so they have right here on the left side a text option and I'm gonna show you, I'm just gonna start with just one of these headings. I'll grab it and put it over here. And then you would type in your business name here. So Skill Leap AI is the name of my business. I'll type that and I'll go ahead and kind of center it based on this guide. And I'll actually stretch this out. Now, if I select it, it's gonna give me some recommendations based on what kind of font I should choose because I just chose whatever the default font. But if I select it, you could see, let me just select the whole thing. You could see some of these are gonna look completely different. Like maybe I like this font or this style maybe is a better fit. And I'm gonna select it all because I do wanna change the color. So this right here, you wanna basically choose something from this design. So this has a lot of blue elements. So I'm gonna choose one of those blue elements here. And my text now will fit better with the rest of my image. Or you could choose basically anything that is more prominent in this graphic side of the logo. Now what I wanna do is I wanna press download and you have an option here to change the file format. PNG is what you want. Logos need to be PNG. And if you want a transparent background, you could go ahead and check this on too. Typically you want the background to be transparent. So whatever you put this on like a website, it just takes over that background. In this case, maybe I just want a white logo here. So I'll leave that off. Either way works. And here's the image here as a PNG on my computer. Again, this one has a white background. Again, you could do it with a transparent background. I think the blue is a little bit too blue, so I might pick a darker part of this closer to black from my image here. But very incredible logo here that we got for free inside of Copilot. And here's an optional step, but typically if you wanna turn your logo into what's called a vector, you could use this website called vectorizer.ai that I'll link below too. But you just drop the PNG and it makes it a vector. Let me explain what that does for you. Now, this is the big difference. On the left side, you have the PNG and on the right side, you have the vector. So let me go ahead and zoom in. And as you zoom in, you see how the details here on the vector are very sharp. And here, they're starting to get a little bit pixelated as you zoom in. So with a vector file, you can basically scale this up as large as you want and it won't lose the resolution. 
these PNGs or JPEG, that type of file format is pixel based. So that is a resolution based kind of a logo. So you won't be able to infinitely scale it depending on what you're using it for. This is again, completely optional, but if you do go this route, just press download and this will give you a ton of different settings and you could go ahead and press download. This used to be free, but they recently added, I think it's less than 10 bucks a month for lots of different images that you will get to do this with, but an optional step. The PNG outside of the Microsoft Designer app that I showed you over here, downloading it, especially since you could remove the background, is really powerful. You could use it just about anywhere, including your website. And the last resource I wanted to show you is our e-learning platform, Skill Leap AI, all about learning all the top AI tools. And we're releasing a visual communication course for business owners, entrepreneurs. And that one is not just about logo design, it's about all the different things AI could help you with as far as creating any type of visual element from creating different ads and creating different social media posts. And alongside with that course, you will also get access to all our courses. So we have 21 different courses right now and we release about two new courses every single month. So if you wanted to completely master Dolly 3, we have a course dedicated to that from a Dolly 3 expert. And I teach things like chat GPT, prompting custom GPTs, all kinds of different courses from me there. We have courses from professionals on the co-pilot side, Canva side. So you could get access to, again, all this for one subscription with a free trial to make sure it's a good fit. Unlike every other AI course out there where you just buy one course, this gives you access to over 20 courses with new releases every single month too. That's going to be linked in the description with all the other resources. I hope you found this useful. I'll see you next time.